We don't have that level of persecution. Not here, not yet, not now. So what does it mean for you and me? Well, there is persecution. It's just not the intense persecution with beatings, imprisonment, and torture, and that kind of thing. It's, it's verbal, it's social, it's ostracism, maybe it affects you in your job, things like that. This is what it means, though. It means that you are going to live all out for Jesus Christ no matter what. No matter how little persecution, how, how, how much persecution, you are going to live for Christ. No matter what it costs you, you don't live for yourself, you live for Christ. We obey Him, we seek Him, we focus on Him, we remember Him. The culture is all going one way, it doesn't matter to us, we're going God's way. The whole culture is saying premarital sex is no problem, homosexual sin, no problem, adultery, no problem, we're going God's way. The whole culture is saying, divorce, easy, easy married, easy divorce, we're going God's way. The whole culture is chasing after, you got to have more and more stuff if you're going to be happy, we're going God's way. It means that we are resolved to follow Jesus no matter what. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. We live our lives... As it is said, as if Jesus Christ died yesterday, rose this morning, and is coming again tomorrow. Now, what if that actually was in your mind throughout the day? Live as if Jesus died yesterday, he rose this morning, he's coming again tomorrow. That changed things. That's how we live, right here in the United States. Despite the culture, despite, you know, what all the world is doing, we are resolved to go for Jesus, to live for Christ, to live for Christ. It's really... It's no matter what the church is doing. 